I want to thank you for joining us for Holden Evening Prayer here at Lutheran Church of the Holy Spirit. And I'd like to thank you for continuing to watch us on YouTube and on Facebook. If you haven't already, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like and to share on Facebook. We're finding that people are being fed through these services that have no connection to Lutheran Church of the Holy Spirit. Our grocery cart continues to fill up due to your faithfulness and generosity. It was filled to overflowing this past week. And we're going to continue to do our best to have it outside the front door between 10 and 2 each day, Monday through Friday. But please call Sarah or myself just to double check on our timing. Our tweens and teens continue to meet on the Discord channel. Contact Eric for additional information. And it looks like we might be making plans for limited worship in our building sometime towards the end of May. So please know that we are going to put the safety of every one of you ahead of any rush to pretend that this danger is past. In the past week, we found that we also lost our summer building use camp, Avid 4. This is a big hit to our building use income. That said, God calls each one of us to be faithful and generous, even though our world looks much different today than it did a few months ago. Your offerings and your tithes to this ministry are important for our ongoing mission and expenses. You can continue to give in four ways. You can mail in your offering. You can drive by and drop it in the drop box outside the front door when you come by to drop off some food in the grocery cart. You can give through our website, lchscentennial.org and you can sign up for automatic withdrawal with a one-time or an ongoing gift. Some of you may have the opportunity to make a one-time gift above and beyond your regular offering intended. If you have questions about the needs of this ministry, please contact Sarah or myself. Now I'd like to invite you to light a candle as a visible sign of the Holy Spirit's presence in your sacred space. Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness.
before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing our praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. This week is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and I have lived that long. I actually celebrated the first Earth Day in my grade school classroom, and uh, there were lots of different things and conversations about our world and how it is that we're called to take care of that, and that was in a public school. To, so today I'd like to uh, talk about walk a mile in my shoes. These are shoes that I haven't had all that long. It's been probably a year, a year and a half. They're pretty worn out already. Um, we have a dog, and our dog uh, requires that uh, we take her out each day. Otherwise, she gets really anxious and loud and obnoxious. So we normally break down and make sure that she gets a daily walk. Along with that, they've been out on the trail, a number of different trails and a number of different events. And they're kind of, because of what they look like, they're also my daily work shoes, too, which maybe some people wonder about, but that's kind of the way it is. Michelle Sullivan in a TED Talk made this comment. The only shoes you can walk in are your own. With compassion, courage, and understanding, we can walk together side by side. So with that, I would like you to look at your feet. Notice the shoes that you're wearing. Those shoes are yours. The size fits your feet. Comfort develops once the shoes take on the shape of your feet 
after you wear them for a while. The longer you use a pair of shoes, the more they surround your feet with you. The uniqueness of your feet, the short toe or the extra long one, the calluses, the corns, the bunions, the other imperfections only you know about, they form the shape of your shoes. They carry information about you, such as where you walk or run, who you meet and where you go for entertainment, how often you open the refrigerator door and the steps that you take at work. Your shoes know what time of day you slip into them and you take them off, when you put your feet up or when you kick aside something that gets in the way. They know how long you stand at the kitchen sink and where you shop for food. Your shoes carry the story of yourself. No one else can fit into those shoes, into your story in the same way that you do. Now, look at the shoes of someone else. If you're out shopping or if you're out someday somewhere, look at the shoes around you. Gaze at them carefully. Notice the size and the shape of his or her shoes. And imagine the story that they carry, the storehouse of information that they contain. If that person's shoes could speak, you would learn so much that's not visible about her or himself. You would discover not only exterior aspects, but interior ones as well. Those shoes could have waited in a doctor's office or an unwanted medical report for an unwanted medical report. Or they may have taken a parent to the graveside of a child. They may have walked out the office door after a coveted position was given to someone else, or perhaps they sat silent while the one who wore them sobbed after being betrayed by a lo beloved partner. What if you were to ask to exchange those shoes with the person whose shoes you have just contemplated? Could you wear them comfortably for a day? Would they fit your feet? Probably not. You would wobble or feel pain if you had them on for very long. So too, we cannot wear each other's stories. We emphasize and respect people for who they are and what they have experienced. Another human being making his or way or his or her way through life as best they can. I'd like you to close your eyes now. Think of how easy it is to make snap judgments about another person because of external appearances or behavior. Imagine how much this person whose shoes you gazed upon wants happiness and an ease of life in just the same way that you do. Think of how this person too has experienced numerous gains and, lo um, and losses. Let's pray. Holy One of the Burning Bush, like Moses, we take off our shoes. We are in awe of your presence, not in a fiery bush, but in the heart of each human being. Deepen our respect for one another's history of experience, the unique personality and diverse giftedness that they bring. Heal us of quick judgments that are often untrue. In our relationship with all people, may we approach them with respect and a sincere desire to hallow their sacred journey. Together, we stand before you, Holy One, a flame in our hearts. May we walk in peace with each person who comes our way. And may we walk on the world that you created with gentleness.
light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God.
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and, and the glory, forever, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless our God, praise and thanks to you. May God create bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our Lord. May the Spirit of God be our guide. Thanks be to God.